say my angels welcome it's tigra good evening i'm here with a reconciliation reading for you i started it and then of course i lost story space so i'm starting it back over but i did leave the cards that i was in the beginning to introduce to you so we'll continue that in a moment first welcome 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 please check out the community tab i've posted some things there don't forget to hit subscribe hit that like comment share so the rest of the sagittarius community can get the energy and get the messages that may be guided for some of them as always i thank you in advance i'll be posting your weekly reading soon for next week my apologies i did not post any updated mid-month readings this month the time got kind of caught up with me but i'll make it up to you my new policy is going to be i want to see at least 50 i should be getting at least 100 likes and at least 100 views on each video before i continue to keep putting more content as a consistency that i do keep in mind i do take my free time to do this i do this for your benefit more so than mine i mean it's part of my spiritual journey but i want you guys to get these messages and more importantly i want to make sure that you appreciate what i'm doing for you so as always cause a blessing prayed for this is a general reading so it may or may not apply to you but whoever it does, I hope they will see this. So again, this is talking about reconciliation. Those of you who are part, and both of you, or one of you could be, you know, asking the universe or, or has asked the universe. And maybe that's why I've been drawn to do this reading because I've really never done a reconciliation reading before. And being that I have the appropriate decks to do so, I said, why not? So the first card that I was guided to was long distance between you, play more, be patient. And then the following card, which was the overall energies, was healing in progress. Until the camera had gotten cut off. So we're going to start off first with these messages. And again, this is in regards to reconciliation. So some of you might have said a prayer out there to universe or petition or ask the universe for guidance, whether you should get back with someone or someone has stepped up to you, you know, giving you that feeling and vibe like they want to reconcile. Or they might have just straight out said it. Baby, I miss you. You know, grass ain't green on the other side. I want you back. That type of thing. So there is currently long distance between you. There's definitely time apart from you you're not living together anymore in the same household you definitely were living together um, most of you at some point but you are not um, the distance can be very very far um, and when you look at this picture you know what this is remember when you were a kid depending on how old you are you used to take the, the i think the, the paper cups and we used to put the string and, and play telephone well that's how you're communicating now like if there is any communication it's through telephone or text because you're not physically together play more during this time both of you have been engaging um i want to say that you're talking to other people but you're definitely hanging out you're you're, you're trying to not let the stress of the separation um or the time apart get to you so you are trying to make you know the best of a bad situation the universe is telling you to be patient because for many of you this reconciliation is not something that's going to be that easy to do and for many of you you might have to be patient because a reconciliation might not be in the cards you might be at that crossroad in the relationship where one of you might decide that it's not meant for you to get back together this time that the relationship has gone its course there is healing in progress for both of you overall as you both continue to live your lives and if you have children together and you co-parent you know you're still healing so whatever whatever happened to separate you two um the feeling and the doubt and the insecurities and the hurt and pain is still there um you know you could put a band-aid on it for a quick fix but there's deeper issues for many of you um, in your relationship that needs to be repaired and fixed before you can get back together. We even talk about reconciliation. Let's get a clarifier with the tarot and then I have some other cards we'll use. Wow. Okay, so we get the Ace of Swords. So like I said, 
you know, it, someone does want to come forth. One of you or both of you could want to come forth to, you know, to try to, to begin this healing process, to try to begin the communication. So some of you could have been talking and communicating, but if you have children, you know it's been about the kids or it's been about the house. You know, it's been about business. It hasn't been about the romant, romantic side of your relationship. But some of you do want to get out of your mental space if it's not you, it's your partner, and come forth. You know, the person that's not with you, they feel, or either you feel like, when they left, they took with them, either they took physical stuff, or they, like, you felt like they took your heart, they, they took your joy, or they took the trust, I feel, in many cases that you had with them. But it was like a thief in the night. Many of you, the separation was unexpected. Um, you wasn't expecting it. And it came like a thief in the night. That's the type of message that I'm getting. We get to call it the Empress. So, very interesting because some of you, again, the reconciliation might be in the talks because some of you might have found out that you're pregnant so that's definitely a reason to want to talk to your ex or your current partner that you're apart from if you're expecting okay if you're expecting it also could be the energy of the empress that again it's the beginning of conversation the beginning of of, of trying to birth new ways to conversate, birth a new way for you to come together, create a new way for you to rekindle and heal from what has happened and start over. Let's see what the underlying card was underneath the deck. The Knight of Cups. So again, someone is coming forth with expressing their feelings. So it's either you or your partner or both of you, but the need for you to express your feelings, the need to talk definitely is coming up. The other message that we get is, can, wow, oh my gosh, wow, what, you know what I got to do, right? Oh, thank you, my angels, thank you, we thank you. What does this say? What does this say? Can we just talk? Wow. Can we just talk? It's like things had gotten so difficult and so distant between you two that you both had to kind of be patient and wait till that other person was ready to heal or wait till that person was healed and ready to talk. And now one or both of you are saying, come on, babe, can, can we just talk? Can we just talk? Especially if messages were brought forth that you are expecting. You, that, you know they're going to want to talk. I mean, you could be mad at a person, but if you've been in love with them and you're in a relationship with them and you still have feelings for them and you find out they're having your child, of course you're going to want to talk. I, many will use that as an excuse to find their way back in, but hey, you got to do what you got to do, right? But still, it definitely will bring both of you to the forefront to talk. So even if it's not about a, a pregnancy, it's still, like I said, the beginning stages of the healing, taking forth, being patient with each other, and now giving each other the time and space to heal, leaving the opportunity now to say, well, can we just talk? You know, can we at least just talk now? You know what I mean? We've been apart some time. You know, I think we're both mature enough and there's enough love between us to talk. You also get the card, this is becoming exhausting. So again, maybe the patience is running out between one or both of you, you know, being apart. You know, a lot of people, you know, when you live with someone and you're in love with someone and you, you have a routine, you know what I mean? You're used to certain things. And when one of you have to leave the home and stay with a relative or stay with a friend, it's not the same, you know, not sleeping in your own bed. It's not the same not wake, waking up next to your man or lady, you know, things. It, and it does. It becomes exhausting. The arguing, the bickering, you know, the family getting into the middle of it and everything, the accusations. It gets to be exhausting. So not only is the long distance exhausting, but just the overall energy 
of you two being apart is exhausting. And the final message from this deck is, would you reject me? This person wants to come home. This person wants to come back with you or to you. You know, they want to reach out to you. You know, they want to apologize. But they're kind of skeptical because they don't know if you would reject them. And some people's ego can't handle it, you know? So, wow. Let's see what else we have. We also get the card of happiness. Blinded. Secrets. And the final message, well, close to the final message. I have one or two more clarifiers. Uh, disappearing act. Happiness, blinded, and secrets. So definitely, this was a happy relationship. You were in a happy place. You guys were traveling. You had a good relationship. Again, you could have children together, be business partners together. You had a good life. But someone, what did I say? Someone was blindsided. Something unexpected ha happened in this relationship that one of you was not prepared for. Thus the separation, thus the time apart. Somebody was holding secrets. Again, explaining the separation. And now the disappearing act with the overall energy, the disappearing act in essence is the both of you being apart. The separation because being blindsided by some secrets and something that came out that you were not even aware of and wasn't ready to handle. Thus, they could have ghosted you in the beginning and then after they ghosted you, they might have tried to come back and then you just put them out. That's why you're really, you know, apart right now and the reconciliation is what's up for talks. Final clarifier is the light in me sees the light in you. So if you are pregnant, you know, I know your emotions might be all over the place. And they know your emotions all over the place. And they know you might be saying things that you really don't mean. So they're trying to be patient with you. You know what I mean? And the light that they see in you is that baby. That baby that's in your womb. That baby that you both have created from love and passion. Despite whatever else that they blindsided you with and hurt you with, the fact is that if you are pregnant, for those of you that are, that is the light. That is the hope. That that baby is that glimpse of hope. That's the light they see in you. Just like this flame is burning, that's the flame. That's the light that they believe that can keep this relationship going. And I, you know, you should never rely on a baby to keep a marriage or a relationship together but hey if you love each other and you can make it work keep the family unit together I'm always for that so that's what they see this baby is that chance that light you know that that gift from God that confirms the love that you have for each other and gives your partner another reason to fight to stay in this relationship Okay, I'm going to use my deck here. I haven't used this deck in, um, I don't think I've ever used this deck yet since I created it. But I just want to see if it brings any other unexpected clarifiers to this before we sum this up. So we get the card October. So I don't know if some of you, if you are pregnant, if you do October. Or maybe October is when you could be reconciling with them coming back home. Or the month of November. <laughs> one so the baby could be born it could be born october 1 november 1 or they could they could be coming back the first of november the first of october and filled with anxiety so both of you or one of you are filled with anxiety because you're you're like so anxious as to you know are we going to get back together? Are we not? Like, how long this is going to go on? And especially for the partner who is not, who left. Now, it doesn't mean that your guy left. Because sometimes the girls leave, you know. Sometimes the girls leave too and they go stay with their mom. Especially if you're pregnant, you might have left and went to get support from your family. So whoever left, the person that, is, is, that has stayed behind, that person that left is filled with anxiety because, again... You know, they're the one that has to return, but they kind of need that partner who stayed behind 
to forgive them, to give them the okay. So for those of you who are seeking to reconcile this month, you know, you have your work cut out for you. Um, but if there is a baby in the way, that baby could be a determining factor that brings that person back. Final, final card. You are not being heard. Wow. So there was no conversation going on between you. Um, again, for some of you, you were talking regarding household matters, etc. Others of you, you were totally tuned out. It was like they had earmuffs on and they weren't hearing nothing you had to say. If you called, they put you to voicemail, etc. Um, so you, you were not being heard. And, and that that was one of the problems because you had to give this person and yourself time to heal. Let me get a clarifier on you're not being heard. Yeah, well, you're not being heard and you didn't have an opportunity to be heard because you were probably put out, your partner or you was probably put out and you just had to pick up and go. So there was no opportunity for you to explain your case. And I believe that happened because Whatever you blindsided them with or whatever they blindsided you with, with these secrets and everything that came out, um, they they had to bounce. They, they had to go. Like, you were not letting them stay. So the disappearing act, they ghosted you after you put them out. But now, like I said, now this reconciliation talks are coming up. Can they come back home? Will you reject them? Will, you know... Can you know? Can you just talk? It's becoming exhausting. So, what I would say for those of you who are part who are seeking to reconcile, yes, it's time to talk. Either both of you, one of you, are tired of being apart. The person who is, out, you know, on the outside looking in, they're afraid that they might be rejected. But there could be something changing. Hopefully. By the month of October or November on the first of the month, either the birth of a child or that could be around the period of time that they might be coming back home. So listen, if this pertains to you, this reconciliation, and especially if you're pregnant, you have to do what's best for you. You have to do what's best for the child. You have to do what's best for the relationship as a family unit. If both of you are willing to talk and you've healed, you could proceed forward. Um, let me see. Do I get any? Can they proceed forward? Angels, can Sagittarius proceed forward? Reconciliation. Yeah. You, you can. I think there's a favorable outcome that this reconciliation can come to be. But it's going to take some work. You see that 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 shovel, that hole there? Yeah, it's going to take... You, you're going to both have to dig your feet into this and really discuss what happened get healing get counseling therapy whatever it is and really work at it especially if you're adding a child you know to this relationship now so the reconciliation is possible but it is going to take some work i hope this has been a blessing and a message to those who need it i truly always believe that what is to be shown will be known and what is not to be revealed will not be seen so for those of you who are a part that thinking about reconciliation yes you will reconcile it, you have to be patient it's going to take some time you do need to talk you know one of you fear rejection the one who's on the outside looking in but i think if you put the time into it you can work it out thank you for watching bye